Hi guys, welcome back to another video presentation where we are looking at CSEC Information Technology past paper questions and the topic from the syllabus that we are focusing on is the problem solving and programming section. The past paper that we are looking at for this video is the May June 2017 and we are looking at questions 9 and 11 from that paper. So let's get right into it. Question 9 says that Romario can add money to his mobile phone by entering a specific code via a text message. The instructions are entered using the format below and we are expected to answer the questions based on the instructions after that. Alright, so the format that is given here is that there is a code to add the dollars and that code is AD. All right. The amount that a person can add ranges between $20 and $50. The next part of that is the error code along with the mobile number. So the error code is the first three digits and then the remaining seven digits of that would be the mobile number. And finally, there would be a personal security number, which is 0945. All right, so the first question, AI says to identify the error in the following code. So in the code, the first thing that we have is the code to add the dollars so that there is correct. The amount that the person wants to add, the amount of money is $40. And if we check, that is between the range 20 and 50. So that is also correct. All right, the third aspect is the error code along with the seven digit number so if we try to tick off we're seeing three digits that represents the error code and then one two three four five representing the mobile so the mobile number is still missing two digits all right and finally the personal security number which is zero nine four so that is correct so the error in this question or the code rather is that the mobile number is still missing two digits all right so we say the mobile number is missing two digits all right second one aii says to name the process that locates and fixes errors in the code and if we check our objectives from this portion of the um, syllabus it would be debugging or debug all right b says to complete the table to show whether the message will be accepted or not for each of the following options and again the information is based on the format that we just completed above so the format was that just a reminder the money should be between twenty dollars and fifty dollars also the security number should be zero nine four five so if both of these um, have some correct output, then the accepted would say yes. Otherwise, if one of them is incorrect or both is incorrect, then it have to be a no. So the money, first money is $10. And that automatically shows us that that's a no because again, the range was between 20 and 50. Security number 094, that is correct. However, if we're testing both the money and the security number, then that is incorrect because the money did not fall in that category. So the first one is a no. Second one, money is $25. So that is between the range 20 and 50. Security code, however, is zero, sorry, 945. So that is incorrect. The zero is missing from the beginning of that. So Again, both of those are not matching, so the output would have been a no. Third one, $30, that is between the range 20 and 50. 0945, that is also correct for the security number. So both of these are corresponding and they are true, so the output would have been a yes. Final one, $65, again, that is outside of the range of 20 to 50, so that is incorrect. And the security number here, 945, that is also incorrect. So the output automatically would say no. And that would have given us our four marks. C says that we ought to draw a flow chart to include a start and stop, right? To illustrate the following line of information. So we ought to input S code. And if S code is equal to 09, 
four five then we ought to add money to the phone otherwise we ought to output the message that says error code incorrect all right a quick way that we can know with what symbol to use for which line um input is also similar to the term read and we know that this would be placed in our input output um symbol or diagram all right this represent input output if s code is equal to 094 this means that we're going to be making a decision and we know that the decision is done in a diamond then add money adding money means that calculation should take place and this is considered to be process or processing and finally they said otherwise output that automatically tells us that we're going to print something or output something so this again would be placed in a similar um symbol as the first one which is the input output now we can proceed with our flow chart so again they said to include our start and stop so we start with the start <laughs> all right so we start and the start is inside of an oval all right followed by a flow line flow line connects or different stages then we can come to the fragment of code so the first first item says that we ought to input s code so this should be placed in a parallelogram slanted sides all right and filling out looking similar to a rectangle and within it we should have the input s code this again is connected with a flow line to the next step the next step would be to make a decision. So we want to know if the S code is equal to 0945. So our diamond would be drawn here. All right. Let me see if I can get it big enough. All right. So it's saying is S code equal to 0945. And outside or coming out of the decision we normally have a yes or no to determine what the output should be so if it was a yes what should be printed on this end and if it was a no what would be printed on this end if it was a yes let's return to the question so it's saying if the s code is equal to 0945 this first one should say yes then it should add money to the phone adding money to the phone again we say is a process so this is on the yes side so our process is within a square or a rectangle all right and it says to add money to the phone all right and on the no the next one would have been otherwise output error code incorrect all right so similar to the first um symbol slanted parallelogram and we should output error dash let me just see the code incorrect code incorrect all right both of these we're finished with the yes and we're finished with the no so the last thing that they would have been included is the stop and that ends our program so both of those are connected all right and this is a oval to represent our stop and that would have given us our full marks for that question all right down to question 11 it says to consider the fragment of code below and answer the questions that follow all right first one says that we are to read the or the computer rather would read the error code that is entered by the person who is using the system right and then while the error code that is entered is or while the error code is equal to 268 then we are to complete the action that follows so we are the computer would be calculating the amount and they give us a formula it would also print out a message to say that the amount accepted was and the amount should be printed out right and also 
if it is outside of the value 268 then it would just give them a message that they use a particular error code all right so moving along to the question 11a asks us the type of loop so again we have to remember what are the types of loop we have a for loop we have a while loop and we have a repeat until loop so if we check this the while loop was a loop that was used so the loop would be a while or we could add the do the do so while do all right next one a relational operator used in the code what mathematical um, operator would have been used in order for calculation to take place and this would have been that asterisk represented by the multiplication all right so we could have given the asterisk next one is the data type of amount so if we check amount and we see the word currency that represents some digit if we also look at the side that says 0.37 we know that this is a decimal and in reality the data for decimal is real so in this case this would have been a real data type all right next one the location of the cursor when the error code is input all right so if we return to the line the error code would be input right here where it says read line and the fact that it says read line means that it would remain on that same line so the cursor would be at the end of the at the end of the error code sorry about that right so same line after the area code final question in that range the result when the error code is 876 so we're just going to go back through the code so it says read line so let's say our digit was 876 we entered 876 um the next line is testing if the, while the error code is equal to 268 so it was not 268 268 all of this calculation would have occurred 876 is on the outside of this so the otherwise would have been the last part here which says that your error code you use error code and then the error code so the message would have been you used or the result rather you used error code 876 all right so again the first portion of the code would have been what would occur if it was 268 however the value was not 268 so it exited that while loop and go to what the other result would have been which would have been a message printed out on screen all right and then that would have completed our questions for this 2017 paper there were other questions there but again the bulk of what would remain would be referring to array and array is no longer on the syllabus so those were not completed all right thank you guys so very much for watching and i do hope that this would have assisted you in whatever way it could have helping you to prepare for exams or even just to be clarified on certain things all right i ask that you like share and subscribe but most likely also to share to those who would benefit from this information all right thank you guys again and i do pray and hope that you have a productive day please look out for other videos to come all right goodbye